Today we're going to be installing LED fog lights in my Lexus. To change the fog light bulbs on this Lexus, we need to put it up on ramps and access the panel underneath. To access the fog light area, we need to remove three 10 millimeter bolts. Next, I'm going to reach in and pull down this panel from the bumper. Now, if you look up into the bumper here, you can see we have clear access to the light bulb. There's just a tab here that you squish and you pull out the electrical connector. And then you can rotate the bulb counterclockwise and remove it from the fog light housing. These are the high powered LEDs I'm using to replace my fog lights. I got them from myled.com. This is the packaging they come with, and these are the light bulbs. The LED consists of a 9006 connector, as well as this heavy duty metal base and two surface mount LEDs on either side. As a comparison, here's the old 9006 bulb compared to the LED bulb. As you can see, the length of the bulbs are pretty much the same, but the base is significantly bigger on the LED bulb. So make sure you have enough space behind your headlight housing to install them. Also as a comparison between the two bulbs, the original bulb produces about 1500 lumens of light, while the new LED bulb produces about 3000 lumens, so it should be twice as bright. The LED bulb only consumes 30 watts of energy, while the incandescent produces 51 watts, so that should give you a lot better fuel economy and a lot less heat. Next I'm going to plug in the new LED bulb into the connection for the fog light. Okay, the next step is to install the LED light into the housing. Make sure it's seated and rotate it clockwise. Then I'm going to replace this plastic underneath the fog light and then replace three 10 millimeter screws. I'm also going to try a set of these LEDs in a Lexus GS housing. I'm going to start with these two Phillips screws in the front of the fog light here. I'm going to pull out the fog light housing carefully here. Then I'm going to unclip the old fog light and turn out the fog light bulb. It's the same 9006 bulb in this car too. Now the difference with this fog light housing is it uses a yellow capsule inside to give a yellow fog light. We're going to see how that plays out with a white LED bulb. To get this LED bulb to go into the fog light housing, I had to change the seal. Now I'm going to insert the bulb into the housing and rotate it until it locks and it doesn't lock. Okay, one other problem with these bulbs is when you put them in the socket and try to rotate it, the base rotates separately from the bulb. So to put it in, you're going to have to use a screwdriver to rotate this separately so the bulb locks in. Okay, I'm going to insert the bulb into the housing and then bring in a flat screwdriver to try to push the wedge over so the bulb locks in. And that's it, it's locked. And then I'm going to plug in the bulb and reinstall the fog light into the housing. Then replace the two Phillips screws and then test to make sure the bulb works. Here's what the fog lights look like on the Lexus ES during the daytime. As you can see, the LED light on the passenger side is a lot brighter and produces a lot more glare than the halogen light on the driver's side of the car. Now I did order a warm white bulb, but as you can see, it does look like it produces more of a cool white compared to the headlights. And here's a shot at night of the LED fog lights on the Lexus ES. As you can see, the LEDs are much brighter than the halogen. And here's a comparison of the output of just the fog lights while driving. So here's a shot of the fog lights against a white garage door. As you can see on the left side, the halogen light has a nice clean cut off with not much glare above it. Whereas on the right side, the LED light is much brighter and actually acts like an HID light and throws a lot of light above the cutoff light, causing glare. Now if you listen carefully, you can hear that the LED light has a slight humming noise. Here's what the fog lights look like in the daytime on the Lexus GS. As you can see, the LED light on the left side of the car is a lot brighter and greener than the halogen light on the right side of the car. Here's what the light output looks like at night on the Lexus GS. With the LED fog light on the driver's side, you can see that the light output actually is much better. There isn't as much glare as the ES, and the beam pattern is much wider although greener. Here's a comparison of the fog lights on the Lexus GS while driving. Finally in comparison, LED versus incandescent. As you saw, the LED was able to produce a lot brighter light using a lot less power and producing a lot less heat. However, an LED is only feasible if this big base can fit behind your fog light or headlight and the fog light's optics 
can handle the brightness of this LED. As we saw the Lexus GS300 housings, the fog lights were able to capture the brightness of these LEDs and produce a nice wide bright beam pattern compared to that of the ES where it produced a lot of glare. Finally, as for longevity, LEDs are supposed to outlast halogen lights. I've had these in for about two weeks and had no problems.